All right, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm gonna do a little demo on how to get MIDI notes out of Navicord into Ableton Live Lite. And let me switch back over. Uh, Johnny Goodyear over at the Audio Bus forum was asking me how the best way to get MIDI out for his masterpiece uh, and store it um, as MIDI notes and so and then he had said uh, he's having trouble to get it to work and Aria Pro but before giving up we'll have a look at Cubasis, and I'm not for sure if you have uh, not sure if you have Ableton Live Lite, but everyone has an iPad, and most everybody who's in, on the Audiobus forum has at least Gadget or Patterning or some app that has been link enabled, and you can get a free copy of Ableton Live Lite. And so if you have a computer and you have Ableton Live Lite, preferably a Mac, but you don't have to have a Mac because Studio Mux or MIDI Mux works across the board and that's the app that I'll be using uh, to do this. And so let's set it up on the iPad first. And so I have MIDI Mux running and I have the server running on my Mac. And you just go up here, you create you a virtual MIDI port if you don't already have one. Like I have, I have a couple, iPad 1 and Test 2, and we'll use Test 2 for this uh, demo. And so then we'll go into Navicord, and we'll go to MIDI, and we'll go to MIDI I.O., and then we'll scroll down. Right here you'll see Link Chord Voices, and there all the voices will be linked, and they're all sending out channel 1. If you wanted chord voice one to send out a different channel and do some other stuff, you could do that. But for the simplicity's sake, they're all sending out channel one and they're all going to be sent out on the MIDI channel or the virtual port test two. Okay. And then as far as the syncing goes, I'm going to be using Ableton Link because Navicord has Ableton Link. And so let's jump over to the Ableton Live. And you'll see I have link enabled. You know, we can change the tempo 120. Jump back over to the iPad. It's, I don't know why it's not as quick. I've been having some issues with my uh, a little bit of issues with my Wi-Fi, and so this could be the issue why it's not updating exactly. But uh, anyway, so let's go back to Ableton Live because we got a few things we need to do in Ableton Live Lite. Um, I plan on doing a whole series on just Ableton Live Lite and how you can use it in your iPad productions, but this will just be kind of the one of the many parts to it. Um, and so if you go up to live and you go to preferences it'll bring up this you have different settings and if you go to the link MIDI section you'll see that input here test 2 at the guy's iPad which is the test 2 that I created in the virtual port in MIDI Mux is right there and track is enabled and that's where we that's what we want because we want track uh, we want to be able to do uh, it's per track and so you got a track here and it's going to send the MIDI notes to a certain track that you select okay the sync and remote uh, are are different you know they you don't have to leave those you can leave those off but I have expand loaded up and I'll just let's just delete let's just delete all these let's add in a new MIDI track and I have the plugins here. I could go to sounds and instruments, but I just want to use expand. Uh, got it for a dollar when they were having a sale. I don't know how much it is right now, but it goes on sale. It seems to go on sale a lot for a dollar. 
and then from there you can uh, get the whole uh, Air Music suite for like seventy nine as an upgrade, and you can use Expand. So you, you know, basically eighty bucks, you get the whole Air uh, Music suite, which I haven't done yet, but I plan on it eventually. But anyway, I just drag it over to the MIDI clip, or you can just drag it over anywhere, and it'll create a new MIDI clip or a MIDI track. Okay, and so if you go down, uh, drag this back over here. If you go down, you'll see MIDI from all ends, and we want to kind of narrow down and specify. So we want it to all come in from test two, and then we know it's sending out channel one. And then we can, this little button down here does record enable, and I'm monitoring it auto. And then I can test. And that's just me playing. Uh, and that's controlling Ableton Live. And so the easiest way to record some MIDI clips is we can turn the metronome on if we want to. Press play. We got a metronome going. Can we turn the volume of that down? I'm sure we can somewhere, but anyway. So as it's playing, if you click the little record button here, the little circle since this track is armed, if you click that, now it's recording, we can open up the, and you can see it's, it's tracking. And so now I'm going, I'm on my iPad now, and I'm just going to. stop it and then there's the MIDI clip you know then you can you got little bars here you can you know adjust the playhead how you want to you know you can move the notes over so once you, you have it in here you have a lot of a lot more options you know we can just select them all you can move them all over Shorten the clip down. Let's go. Let's make these. End on five. I guess we need to end on fifteen, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. So let's just end it here. Okay. So now we got this MIDI track, and we can play it. can do any kind of minor little adjustments that you want to in, uh, in Ableton. It's, got, it's really good. You know, you can do some, you know, adjustments really quick. You're going to line some of these up. You have the volumes in here at the bottom. But anyway, so once you have this, then you can, you can just kind of right click or two finger click on the track and export MIDI clip. And save MIDI clip as expand 64. We can do... This was uh, A minor chords, song one. Okay, so now that is saved. Now, one thing I'm not for sure is where it saved it at. Let's see, export MIDI clip. Okay. It's Put it under music, okay? 
So now let's bring up my music folder, sort it by day added, and there that is. And so easy, one easy way to, to do something is just copy it to my iCloud Drive, just paste it right into the root. Maybe paste item. There it is. Syncing up. You know, and if you're in the on the latest and greatest version, I don't know if I'd say latest and greatest, but if you're in the most recent version of iOS you can go to your iCloud Drive okay and now I have a minor MIDI song I can hit the little export button up top and now I can copy this anywhere I want to. Let me try to find huh. You know, I don't really know where I could put it. Where, where do I need to put it? Let's see. Let's just throw it in audio share because that seems that's a good good file sharing app that may give me a few more options okay so there you can see there's the MIDI clip right there uh, and we can open in did I, I went through and cleaned out a bunch of apps on my iPad so that may be why I'm not seeing anything so let's uh we get the point i'm not going to go through and download an app so that you can see it you can see it in uh audio share that the app is that everything is there and there's the chords that we just played and so i mean there could be a way if you want to do strictly on the strictly on the ipad but i mean it's it's hard to beat Ableton Live on some of the things that it can do. Um, you know, if you already have MIDI Mux, you know, plug it in. There you go. You can just, I don't know, I find it a little more intuitive working with MIDI files sometimes in Ableton as opposed to other, other apps. And so that's why this would just, in my opinion, if you've got a computer... I mean, that was so simple. Didn't have to worry about, you know, 15 different apps on my iPad. I got two apps running on my iPad, plugged in using the lightning cable, plugged into my computer, and there you go. So hopefully this helps Johnny. Uh, maybe that, maybe even just the part about sending notes out on to, uh, what was that? Where'd it go? Sending notes out. The biggest thing is just you, if you're trying to send notes out, you just want to make sure that you're uh, from Navicord that you pay, you pay attention to what channel. Uh oh, let me bring up, back up my iPad. You just want to pay attention to what channel your chord voices are going to and what output it's going to. I mean, you could use Cubasis or or anything, but I mean, you saw just with just a couple minutes, a uh, couple prep work, you know, I could come in and I could record a whole bunch of different chord progressions inside of Ableton and then each one just export them, export them, export them, throw them back into throw them into iCloud and then you can have them in any app that you want. So, um, 
thanks guys for watching hopefully this helps someone uh and if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh leave a comment below if you have any questions and share it on your favorite social media site if that's the way you want to want to roll that helps me out get me gets me some more views and uh i will talk to you guys later